What's the use? Do you birds some good? Get a little exercise. Raise your arm to vote. A baseball game isn't worth the risk, my friend. It is to me. And if I have to bust my way out of this place to see the thing, I will. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Unless you don't have any sugar or water, then you'll eat the lemons, and the rind will give you diarrhea. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. And you're still acting like an infant. Oh, goddamn. Because that's the only explanation I can think of. Don't interrupt me, honey. You're gonna sit there and tell me we're supposed to believe this kid, knowing what he is? I've lived among them my whole life. You can't trust a word they say. They're born liars. Want to know what the worst part is? Would Keanu Reeves please stand up? See? He's not here. He's never here. I'm so broken that I can't even control my hallucinations, even after I've accepted the fact that they're hallucinations. It takes. We honestly think he's guilty. So suppose we finish in five minutes. So what? Let's take an hour. The ball game doesn't start until 8 o'clock. How dare you speak to me like that in front of her? And I marvel that you can be so contemptuous of me on the day that you lose your job. I didn't lose it. I want to go outside, but it's too loud. So I wish outside was quieter. It's one thing to want somebody out of your life. It's another thing to serve them a wake up cup of Drano. Oh, liquid morphine. To be honest, the idea of getting old with Daryl was kind of starting to get to me. I can see that. I mean, look how different he looks now just since high school. I mean, it's bad enough that I have to get old, but having him around is going to make it worse. That the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. The powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. Fuck thy brother's wife, nor cover thou his sheep, nor cover thou his ox, and a whole lot of other shit you probably should well know. World Series of yours is over. Oh. <laughs> What's the use anyway? What's the use? When you do your birth some good, just get a little exercise. Lift your arms up the vote. Guys, this kid's been kicked around all his life. You know, he, he grew up in the slums. His mother's been dead since he was nine. He spent a year and a half living in an orphanage while his father served a jail term for forgery. Right, it's not a very good head start. If you ask me, he's had a pretty terrible 16 years. Here's proof. His nose is gold. But there's no animal that's more faithful, more loyal, more lovable than the mutt. What's them other things? Recently, I did. I flew in a jet, too. Man, what a thrill. Almost blew the sawdust out of my head. This skull is Fort Knox. I think your friend is you. If I suddenly stop going into work, a business big enough that it could be listed on the NASDAQ would go belly up, disappear, cease to exist. You? I need my goddamn money. I can get it. Uh -huh. I just... Shh. You said that last night when you so rudely skipped out on my third wife's wedding. There's not a whole lot you can do. Sometimes things are just out of our power. You're here for rock bottom. You absolute horror of a human being. Yeah. It's not really what concerns me, though. What concerns you? It's a coloring. Yeah, you know the bitch of it is? It's paint by number. Really? Is it color by number? Because the colors are fascinating to me. Yeah? How so? What do you think about that? I think you're about one step away from cutting your fucking ear off. Yeah? You think I should move to south of France and change my name to Vincent? Yeah, well, I'm gonna go on a limb here. I think this friend is you. You... You... You have a gift, my friend. Go on. The medication could help, but if you want to get to the root of the problem, you're going to want to seek some kind of therapy. With you? <laughs> you know me so well. It's just that I can almost count on this person's actions and criticisms to undermine every step of the way that I go in order to run the administration. 
and then criticize the administration's actions in running the hospital. In truth, it pictures not my destination, but my life. For love was offered to me, and I shrank from its disillusionment. Here come a hole in the sky. Sing Hosanna when you're upset and cuss and that thing. Sing Hosanna and don't forget God's children get wings. Oh. Only asking. I didn't realize that you were planning a comeback. I hate that word. It is a return. A return to the fans who have never forgiven me for deserting the screen. Is it true what you said, that I don't matter to you? You two go through life doing whatever you want to do, whenever you want to do it. And I don't complain. So he returned from the rectory and now you're asking me? Hmm. Hmm. It comes as cold and bracing as a winter breeze off of the Hudson. Ah, 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 <laughs> thou hast defeated me, you rotten scum. So what was it like, humping Bleaker's bony bod? Who is this Hetty anyway? No one's seen her. She's not on the lease. There's not even a single fingerprint of hers in here. I've been cleaning like crazy. We're friends. I'm not going to leave you. That wouldn't be right, okay? It doesn't matter because either of us will do in keeping the bed warm, right? Yeah, I get it. But we are still a not-for-profit general hospital. What makes motivating our employees here different than almost anywhere else? Almost everything. Relationship with my client entirely professional. Not! It's not your relationship with my client entirely. Point. Bad baby, bad beats. You see, that puts you on my Marvin Gardens, which means you owe me $350. I'm not too thrilled with the level of service up to this point. Mm -hmm. It feels like a muchacha has my feet throwing a headlock, is it? And they buy a hundred thousand shares. That's what I want you to do. You be relentless. You be ferocious. You be telephone fucking terrorist. Yes. Thing you've ever wanted. Dude, this is it. This is your chance to live it up. Fuck. Plus, do you know how much pussy we're gonna get? You knew I was trying to do something and you figured it out. <laughs> That's why you are who you are. Go on. I'm gonna have myself a whole bunch of kids without him and I sure as hell don't need him for that because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. I'll never leave you. I'm always with you. It's my spirit that addresses your spirit. As if we'd passed through the grave and stood at God's feet. I just wanted to tell you in person and show you this rock. It's beautiful, Leonard. You lost your virginity to him down on a dock. Right in front of me. Remember? Oh. You want to get into who's done what down at the lake? Marrying the boss's daughter has nothing to do with it. Look at the offices of Facebook, where my colleagues and I are doing things that no one in this room, including and especially your clients, are intellectually or creatively capable of doing. Mm -hmm. Hold it a minute. What's some other things all over the board? What? Just forget about them. Just give me my 350. I mean, I'd understand if you did. You've got something to go back for. Jenny and all. That is not an option. But I don't know. Something's crossed over me and I can't go back. You could try, but he's pretty tough going. They're all tough at first. Well, he's got a lot on his mind. I mean, he doesn't want to listen to anything except maybe a baseball game on the radio or, you know, we'll sit all evening sometimes and not even say a word to each other. Sounds pretty dull. I sit and knit. 
Is that what you married him for? Maybe I like the way his thumbs hold up the wool. If my husband hadn't gone on a diet which caused me to leave him, I never would have been on that flight to Miami and met Rick and ended up having sex in the bathroom of a 727 with that little knob that goes, vacant, occupied, vacant, occupied, vacant, occupied. You never told me you left your husband because... As you know, I authorized the use of overtime since it was budgeted so that you would have an opportunity to get caught up in organizing. Okay? Donnie and I were investing in a condominium complex in Venice, all right? That's that's why all this confusion... Oh, well, you're investing in Italy. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not Italy. California. Oh, California. Yeah. You're a lying piece of shit. <laughs> Duchess, baby. Don't you fucking duchess me. Hey, God damn it! You know, got real anger issues. You got psychological problems. Oh, my God. She's so pathetic. Let me tell you something about Janice Ian. So... We were best friends in middle school. Mm -hmm. I know, right? So pathetic. I don't even want to... Whatever. It's not important. Mm -hmm. So, in the eighth grade, I started going out with my first boyfriend, Kyle, okay. who was totally gorgeous, but then he moved... Now I can think of! <gasps> don't interrupt me, honey. If now on, we're going to start alternating our dinner music. Because frankly, and I don't think I'm alone here, I'm sick and tired of this Lawrence Welk. I don't see any need for arguing like this. We gotta behave like men. If we're gonna stick to this case, let's stick to the facts. This always happens. I think we're gonna score, and then we never score. It's not fair. We've traveled a hundred miles to get some, and now it's not gonna happen. Sadie is always gobbling it up. Always. It's always how I see you. Gobbling it up again. I hate the desperation. Everything has to be so desperate. Yeah, well, you don't feel anything desperately. You don't do anything desperately. I don't, it's not in your nature. Um, feelings aren't a strong suit. Something's going on. I know it. That again? You're a liar. I look at you and I know you're a liar. You're crazy, you know that? Fucking crazy. Crazy? I'm crazy enough to shoot you and her. I bet you could really use one of those plug-in telephone headsets, huh? Should we expect all our gifts to be stolen from the office? You shouldn't. 